Africa is the setting for this week's knockout hunting adventures. On this week's show, you will see a large variety of animals. Stay with us as Rod Oglesby and myself, Jerry Goff, are bow hunting for Plains Game here in Namibia. Don't you run away until after the show. Hickory Creek Archery, manufacturers of the draw lock, and the DL24 compound bow presents Knockout Hunting Adventures. From the South Sear, Mississippi, Jerry Goff. Kelly Dynamite All Britain to extend his unbeaten string to eight straight. The fight is slated for ten rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Knockout Hunting Adventures with your host and four-time U.S. amateur heavyweight champion and former number one ranked amateur heavyweight in the world, Jerry Goff. This is Knockout Hunting Adventures, hosted by the man who battled Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, and Lennox Lewis, Jerry Goff. Join host. Jerry Goff, as he introduces children, women, handicapped hunters, and even older people to the sport of archery through Hickory Creek's products. We'll also join Jerry as he travels the world on his exciting adventures. So stay tuned and get ready for Knockout Hunting Adventures. We got five animals. Knockout Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Magic Stop Archery, Bushland Camouflage, the Hunter Safety System, Forage Maker, Tailor Made Bowstrings, and Hickory Creek Archery's Draw Lock and the amazing DL24 Compound Ball. Here at Ukachu, we hunt on 35,000 privately owned acres, of which half is put aside for bow hunting only. The terrain consists of savanna bush felt with lots of different watering holes. This area where we are at the moment has a river running through here with uh, high trees and huge termite mounds of which I'm sitting in front of one of them. They're almost the size of a small house. I will be shooting the HD24 compound bow. The HD standing for hand drawn. While Rod is using the DL24 bow. Before the trip, Jürgen had told us that the average shot would be around 25 yards. Without a Magic Stop archery target with us, Ron has to shoot at a leaf placed on a pile of sand. Today's hunt starts out in a dugout blind overlooking a watering hole. This is July, winter time here in the Southern Hemisphere the dry season in this African country. The animals come here to drink all throughout the day. When shooting African animals, your shot must be above the leg, not behind it like shooting North American animals. That's a hard thing to get used to. It didn't take long for the animals to start popping out from every direction. We had this big warthog with good cutters top the hill and walk straight to the other side of the water hole. Perfect shot. 
Remember the shot placement of the arrow? On a boar hog in the States, this would be in the shield, and I would not have gotten very good penetration. But on a war hog, this is perfect. I'll tell you what, look at the size of these cutters here, man. That is just unbelievable. You know, I always chop the bottom ones off. Oh, oh man, they are. are. You don't they're, want to... they're the ones that cut you. That's razor sharp, isn't yeah. it? Look at the size of it. Man. You okay? This is paradise here, buddy. Good shooting. Thank you. Thank you. Little, little bone, little so bone shoots real well, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. It's surprising. Very good. But it shoots great. Well, I tell you, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is great. We got some more stuff to do, though, don't we? Yeah. Well, let's get him on out of here and let's go do something else. Hey, y'all hang with us. It's getting exciting. <laughs> This segment brought to you by the Hunter Safety System and Magic Stop Archery Targets. Welcome back. Now we're in a very tall tower blind, again looking over a water hole. So far this morning, things were slow, but the guineas were in abundance. And I was told they were great to eat. Now let's join Rod in a different tower blind with this jackal relaxing in the shade at over 50 yards away. We are just run over with animals. We've got 50, 60 warthogs. We've got a herd of eland up on the horizon. We've got impalas. We've got guineas all around us. Now, if we can just get that uh, Oryx, or the Gimsbach, or the big Kudu Bull, I guess we'll be patient. Got some black wildebeest coming in, some less bug. 
dogs everywhere, but we haven't seen a war dog that's a trophy class or something we want to shoot. So hopefully one of those big boys will come in and get a drink with the rest of them. We've noticed here over the week that the war dogs all tend to come at the same time. So hopefully he'll be here. And he does. This bruiser shows up and chases everything around and then finds a sow he likes. Folks, here he is. Nice big trophy warthog taken here in Namibia at Okachuri Safaris. And Yokan, I, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate this. It was a thrilling, thrilling experience with this with this pig. This uh, this DL24, Hickory Creek's bow, what'd you think of that? Did it's, a job on it, it, didn't it? It works really well, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he entered here from behind and he got him <clears throat> Went through the other side, right through the vitals, through the vitals, just hammered him. So, thanks to Hickory Creek and uh, DL24, does a number. The big, nice, beautiful nice trophy, big pig, with about 11 inch tusks, and he's approximately six years old. Well, what do you say? Let's go get some more. Let's go get some more. This segment is brought to you by. Forage maker and tailor made bowstrings. A giant kudu is at the top of Rod's all time trophy list. Take 
I thought I hit him perfect, but I didn't want to take any chances. I can't talk. I can't talk, Jerry. Festus went back to get the truck. Man, I, I but I just can't wait to go see this animal. I tell you what, folks, I I practice probably three, four, five times a week, um, shooting anywhere from eight to twenty-four arrows at a time. And it looks like here in Africa it's really paid off. You know, your legs are shaking, you're nervous, and yet you still just make it like practice. Let's go see the animal. Oh man, what a animal. Two and a half curls. Oh. Ivory on the tips, just what you look for. A lot of mass, good turns, and ivory on the tips. I am thrilled. Folks, knockout hunting adventures right here in Namibia, Africa. We have a greater kudu. Yes, congratulations. Thank you very much, crew. Festus. Yeah, Festus well was our guide today and a professional hunter. And we spent how long in the stand today, Festus? More than four, four hours, isn't it? We made a good heart shot on him uh, down right behind the right leg. And he came, you can see the blind over here, but he came 62 yards is all he ran before he collapsed and expired. So we have a magnificent greater kudu here in Namibia, Africa. Namibia is one of the most peaceful countries in Africa. It has a very low population of 1.8 million people only. We are politically very stable. We have a low crime rate and it's very safe to come here. Our area here is malaria free. We do not have any contagious diseases, cholera or anything like that. You do not have to take any shots in order to come here. This is a dry area. This is disease free basically and our drinking water is very good it comes from deep wells and it's very healthy very good for you Ron and I both took several record book animals like this wildebeest this hartebeest my warthog Rod's warthog jackal Rod's wildebeest his impala, and let's not forget his kudu. Now where'd the time go? Six animals. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, we've been here, what, nine days now? Yeah. It's, it's just been exciting. It's gone too fast. It's gone it, real fast. We had some fantastic animals. They're all in the record book. Really? Oh, yeah. I measured them this morning. Okay. Good. Good. And uh, the outstanding trophy is the impala that would break into top ten. Sweet. So, See, Ron. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, thank you. Okay. Yes, that's great. Now, yeah. you, you know, the thing is, a lot of people don't realize is that you can book a hunt here with you 
for as little as what you book a whitetail or elk hunt yeah. or, mm-hmm. or something like that in Montana or Texas yeah. or some other place. Now, people don't know that you, you can get uh, airfare and the six day hunt with four animals Right. For around about 6,000 bucks here. We had a great time yoking. And I tell you folks, if you're looking for a just out of this world African experience, mm-hmm. hey, you need to call Yokin. I tell you, he will hook you up. Ron, it was wonderful. I'm ready. Hey folks, we'll see y'all next week for an exciting knockout hunting adventures. If you miss Okajuru's Safari website, go to mine at kohunting.com. Then proceed to Outfitters, then click on African Safaris. Thanks for joining us on this week's Knockout Hunting Adventures. Hey, we'll see y'all next week. Thank you for joining Hickory Creek Archery's Knockout Hunting Adventures with Jerry Gall. And make sure to join us next week for more exciting action. Until then... Happy hunting.